people 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 ke pa sa sa pa say what they do now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the dean of discipline at cornwall college he was basically rushed by a parent and people they said that school had to come to a premature close yesterday we are speaking about early now based on the reports it is said that the parents showed up for a meeting with the principal because he made a report maybe about a day or two ago and said that his child was bullied by some other students at the school and people based on the reports it is said that while he was being escorted to the principal's office in basically see one of the pitney them that was allegedly bullying his pitney and people in basically rushed the student and then the dean of discipline had to intervene and while the dean of discipline intervened him and the parent getting a little squabble and people the parent basically touch touch up or lick lick up the dean of discipline now people when he hears stuff like this we see that the discipline in Jamaica as it pertains to students respecting their teacher. We see that it has plummeted to ground level. We are talking about under the basement. We are talking about under the cellar with the foul them. But based on this incident, it shows you that Jamaica, there is no more discipline. There is no more respect. Because gone are the days when teacher and parent were respected by students. Now we see that everybody has squabble, everybody has F-I-G-H-T. So it seems like everything turned in a one big mix up and passa passa and blender. There is no respect for nobody, point blank and period. So, anyways, based on the reports, it is said that after the SMOKE clear and all the squabble was over, the Dean of Discipline picked up some bumps and rate and lele and some B R U I S E S. So after this squabble ended and the SMOKE cleared, the principal, I am speaking about a person whose name is Michael Ellis, he said that he is satisfied that appropriate action will be taken. So people, it seems like some people are going to get disciplined. And the principal also claims that he is going to beef up his security. We are speaking about CCTV, camera, rate, lele, blue, blah, bling. And he is also going to be strict on who is permitted to enter the school property. We are talking about come through the school gate. So people, the moral of the story is this. We see that everything in Jamaica as it pertains to anything, it is reactive instead of proactive. So therefore, something extreme has to happen before any type of action is taken. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I said, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is a video that has been circulating on social media and people are claiming they are legend that it is a dopey in Trelawney, in a Falmouth, in a Montego Bay, all over the place. We hear all sorts of rumors and propaganda and people are claiming that the dopey came for the scammers in Jamaica. Now people, when we listen to stuff like this, we have to kind of analyze it and pick sense out of nonsense. So we have to kind of ask some simple question. Has there been a lot of scammers getting arrested, busted? Has there been a lot of scammers getting killed lately? Have there been a lot of scammers getting extradited to the US for their crimes? People, the answer is no, not more than ordinary, not more than regular. So people, that kind of shatters that theory, point blank and period. Now, people, the truth and the fact is that if you're from the country or if you've ever heard any dopey stories from your grandmother, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling, this does not fit the characteristics of any type of dopey. Unless this is there for a new school type of dopey. And it seems like these dopey coming like some social media model. So unless the theory is that these new breed of Duppy we are speaking about Duppy 2.0, them like the spotlight, they no longer want to be under the radar, they no longer want to be low key, they no longer want to strike in the middle of the night, we are speaking about in the wee hours of the night like Barnabas Collins. 
people the truth and the fact is that this makes absolutely no sort of sense unless you're saying that these new doppies they are grandstanding they are standing on top of the tree canopy and they are basically making a bag of noise they are basically loading up the doppie thing people let me know what you're thinking at the comment section and people, if we remember, we heard the same thing a couple of years ago. And we have to also understand that this is social media and people are bored. So therefore, they are going to come up with all sorts of idle stuff. And like them say, idle dog, walk idle monkey. So therefore, they understand that people like rumors, they like propaganda. It is called the law of supply and demand. And they know that people like lies and they like the BS. Therefore, they are just supplying it point blank and period. Now the fact that we live in an information age, it is startling, it is appalling that people can fall for any and everything. Because the truth and the fact is that if we watch Discovery Channel or Nature Channel, we would know that this is some sort of monkey, chimpanzee or barbone. And people are speaking about the H-O-W-L-E-R type or the P-R-O-B-O-S-C-I-S. -S. We are speaking about the howler or the probasis monkey. So people are speaking about some sort of species of monkey that usually lives in the treetop. We are speaking about high in the treetop, in the canopy, and basically feeds upon these young leaves. We are speaking about in the Amazon or even in a South America. So people, this is not Jamaica. This is not Chilani. This is not Hanover. This is not Montego Bay. This is not Moko. This is not Bacabos. This is no place in Jamaica, point blank and period. So when you hear the BS and say those screams that you're hearing coming from top of the tree, they are basically chanting down the scammers them in a Montego Bay or in Jamaica. People, it is just a hole that they make. They are basically marking their territory because of the fact that them feed pan leaf, they don't want to waste too much energy in any sort of fight. So therefore, they are marking their territory, point blank and period. So people, we can basically rubbish the claim that we hear on social media and specifically upon YouTube, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. So the next thing that is popping in the news is an update about a story that I did yesterday. And it pertains to an incident that occurred off Reddys Road. We are speaking about in which a man. We are speaking about a person whose name is Tony. He basically limb limb up a lady. And her name is AKA Apple. Celia Robertson Lawrence. And this incident took place off Reddys Road. And the intersection of Carlisle Avenue or Carlisle Road. Now yesterday in the story that I did. I said that they were in a relationship. However I've gotten some more credible information so therefore the story that i did yesterday was basically incorrect this is the correct story based on some news from the mother of this man we are speaking about the mother of stony now based on what she is saying she is saying the motive of this thing is because of a house it is because of jealousy and basically the relationship of this man and the lady that got limb limb up and the daughter he is basically the stepson of an ex-husband that the lady have we are speaking about apple so basically he is from cassava piece and he basically got in some trouble in cassava piece maybe about two years ago and he ran to that place in reddish road and he wanted them to put him up basically put him in hiding however they said that they did not want him around because he is a troublemaker he is basically a crime provider he is basically like a black cat so therefore they told him to leave because they did not want the police to come by their house and cause all sort of contention rate lele blue blah blank and as a matter of fact, when they told him that maybe about a day or two after the popo actually came to the place and actually was looking for him and based on what the mother is saying, he is wanted by the G-A-N-G-S-T-E-R-S -E in a cassava piece. And also the popo, he is wanted by everybody, point blank and period. So fast forward two years later and we are speaking about maybe a day or two ago. And this is when he came back and got into a little argument, basically over the house again. And he was claiming that they were dissing him. So basically him getting him feelings and him draft him last and chop chop up the people. Him. Now people, when they talk about a man that is crazy mad sick head no good we are speaking about this person point blank and period 
And people, this mother was so mad. This mother was so irate. She said when she came on the C-R-I-M-E scene and she saw that the two lady basically get limb limb up and it was not her son. She was praying that it was him because she was ready to bury him. She was basically ready to send him to his final resting place. And people, this lady is so ticked off with her son that she is even giving some more information to the popo. She is telling the police if they are looking for him, they need to look in Spalling, we are speaking about in Clarendon, because she has a house there and he is always going by there to seek refuge and hide. So people, the moral of the story is this. If you lay with dogs, you are going to catch flea. And if you keep troublemaker and crosses people around you, it is always going to come back to haunt you. And we are speaking about in the worst case scenario, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.